One of the trends in outdoor living decor in the last couple of years has been taking elements from inside and taking them outside. People are wanting to create that feeling of an outdoor living room on their patio or on their deck, but you have to take indoor elements to do that. So today, picking up on one of the trends of these inspirational words and letters, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use those letters and create a wonderful planter for our Cottage Farms Magic Carpet Sedum. The cool thing about these letters is you could do your last name. You could do words that, you know, like believe or wish or grow for your garden. Whatever means something to you, you can find those letters and you can create what I'm going to show you. And best of all, it's a really easy project. Looks kind of high end, but really affordable and really easy for you to do. So it starts with the letters. You can find these online. You can find them in craft stores. They come in all different sizes, but the key is you need to make sure that they have, you know, some kind of a cavity here so that we can fill the soil and do our planting. So here's our our letter H and I'm just going to use my regular topsoil. It can be your uh, potter's mix, whatever you like to use. The nice thing about the Magic Carpet Sedum is it's not particular. So just fill it in about halfway. Don't want to do it all the way to the top because you're going to want a little bit of room to sort of smush that sedum in, but about halfway seems to work well. Now to keep the soil in place, I have a little trick for you. You're gonna use chicken wire, and you wanna go ahead and cut it into pieces that are in the shape of the letter. This is where you really wanna make sure that you're wearing garden gloves too, because you're gonna press this down in, and it just gives you a little bit of extra protection. That chicken wire is gonna be covered then by the sedum, but once the roots take hold, it holds the soil underneath, and it also helps the sedum stay in place pretty nicely too. Here's the other part of our H. Make sure you press your chicken wire down so it's nice and secure and in place. And then you can start planting your sedum. The neat thing about this magic carved sedum is that you can really cut it to shape. So here's the first long piece that's gonna fit down in to the long side of our H. And notice I didn't fill in the little side pieces. I didn't try to cut that. I'm gonna fill that in separately. Just makes it a little bit easier. Here's the other side. Looks pretty good so far. And now we're gonna fill in our smaller pieces. So you can cut your sedum into different shapes and you just really push it down in there. You want it to feel tight and snug. This is a really great project to do with your kids. It's easy and the payoff is great when it's all finished. I think it's so creative and not what you see in everybody's garden. Those are the projects I like. All right, now that I have the last bit of sedum filling up my letter, look what we have. Our H is complete, which means we can spell the word wish right out in our garden. To water this, all you're gonna need to do is to take a water bottle and mist it every couple of weeks. Sedum is really low maintenance. The other nice thing about sedum is it's gonna stay looking like this even through the winter months. And then in the spring and summer, you're gonna get beautiful flowering blooms. So an easy project to use with your Magic Carpet Sedum by Cottage Farms. And if you're looking for more DIY projects, be sure to check out YHJ over at QVC.com.